Hey everyone and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Um, before the Christmas, my Christmas break I should say, uh, you I posted four videos, I think five actually, and you guys have been really liking the Switch Axe. Honestly, Switch Axe is probably, probably my favorite weapon now other than Dual Blades, but um, you guys have been loving that build and it is a phenomenal build, 100% affinity, uh, good survivability, good damage. But I wanted to take it, take it just like another step, I guess. I've been I was reading some comments, uh, you know, like change this or, you know, do do something different, and some people were right. So I actually went into the awaken abilities, changed up my Safiax, so I got rid of the affinity. So this is a build focused with weakness exploit. So you're not gonna do your top DPS unless you're hitting weak spots, obviously. And you're not gonna get your hundred percent affinity. Unless you're hitting a wounded part. But looking at the Safi Shatter Axe, as we do in any bit video, it has 1050 attack, a good amount of purple sharpness, 5% affinity, 240 blast, level 4 gem slot, and a power vial. Looking at the awakened abilities, we have a sharpness increase 5, 3 attack increase 5s, and 1 sharpness increase 6, just to push us over that uh, limit of purple sharpness now looking at the skills we have agitator plus five blast attack plus four health boost plus three recovery up level three blade resistance level three critical boost level three weakness exploit level three part breaker level three evade window level three and protective polish level one now obviously with this build before any fight that you get into you're probably going to want to sharpen and uh, depending on your team, yes, you might have to sharpen one more time. Now we're at the uh, box. We're going to look over the decorations and everything. But first, obviously, the augmentations. With this Safi uh, weapon, you're probably going to want, you're definitely going to want health regen. Health regen once is fine uh, as far as like fighting pretty much anything that I've been fighting. You can opt for level 2 if you really want to get crazy with the healing. But I would definitely opt for an attack level 1 if you can now actually looking at the decorations on our weapon we have a blast jewel plus four on the head we have a destroyer medicine jewel four and two blast jewel ones on the chest we have a destroyer vitality jewel four and a sharp jewel two on the gauntlets we have a destroyer medicine jewel four and two tenderized jewels two on the waist we have a challenger vitality jewel four and a vitality jewel one on the feet we have a challenger medicine jewel four tenderizer jewel two and a resonator resistor wow resistor jewel one sorry and then obviously we have a challenger charm three with a temporal mantle and rock steady mantle now with this build my challenger charm is in level four which you can get your agitator up to level four without any actual abilities so really there's not much that would change when you level up agitator like if you want to instead of adding agitator and you want medicine and something else like there's really only one point to really add to this build once i actually get challenger charm 4 upgraded or get the charm upgraded to level 4 so i mean there's really not um that big of a difference between you know missing missing out on just one level but for the most part this these are all the abilities you're going to want to opt for now agitator gives us the our 100 percent affinity when we are attacking monster plus some really high dps blast attack with uh the safi shatter axe obviously just to build up that explosive damage even more health boost because honestly best defense perk in there recovery up uh it pretty much affects all your healing capabilities and there's a lot of healing involved blight resistance so you're not getting caught on fire or whatever Critical boost is for an extra damage, weakness exploit for the extra affinity, and part breaker even more extra damage. Invade windows just there because of the armor, and then protective polish just so we can keep our purple sharpness up throughout the entire fight. And obviously this is a full Safi armor set, so you are going to get that extra 40% affinity. And when agitator is active which it always should be because the monster should always be enraged and then you're also going to get a bonus to your blast so you're going to be blasting the monster even more as you guys will actually see us blast hitting um a lot of 300s on silver rathlos but that is about it for this build guys i really hope you guys had a good christmas 
Hope everyone had a good New Year's. Hopefully no one got in trouble. Um, if you guys want to stay up to date with any new videos or if I go live on Call of Duty, this game. Uh, I kind of started getting into Star Wars The Old Republic, but I think that's going to be more of a solo thing. But um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.